What is good guys, this is Charles from Team CLG. Come you guys here with another Infernoble combo tutorial. And today guys, we're gonna be showcasing you guys the Ignoble Knight of Highland Saloon Lion. Uh, this card right here allows the deck to pretty much play around any sort of hand trap or disruption before our Fist Summon, before we get to Angelica, before we get to our important Azolde. And uh, by just playing this one card here, you allow, open yourself up to like multiple two card combos. By multiple, I mean like certain two card combos that we didn't have access to before that gives us a 53.7% chance to pretty much open a way to stop hand traps with just two card combos. Uh, now, with that being said, I'm not the greatest with math and probability, but the good people who are good at math in my Discord ended up doing the probability, and that's what we ended up getting. Now, if you, of course, if you include the OG or plus the museum line, that increases the probability up to like, I think 55 or 57, then you end up including like the connector plus the rota, you end up looking at around like 60 to 65% chance of always being able to like protect your combos from hand traps. So without further ado, if you guys want to help support the channel, check the links down in the description below. If you guys plan on buying anything from Dune, use that TZG player affiliate link, costing you nothing but giving back to the channel. Also, if you guys enjoy the mat you see here, I got good news, it is getting revamped in a new, new fashion. And we also have another two player cloth play mat called the Song of Roland coming out soon. And once those drop, if you guys want to get 15% off, drop kick. That's right, I said it. Drop kick that join button, become a member, getting 15% off, supporting the channel, and get me putting into it, man. Like, the more that goes into it, the more time I can pay for an editor so I don't have to edit the videos. You know, like, if you guys don't know, I'm a travel nurse. So it just allows me to put more better quality out there for you guys by putting, you know, a little bit of support into me. Get knighted, get your, like, your names at the end of videos, get access to, like, Discord perks and rewards. Like I said, the 15% off on the store when, like, more merch and stuff drops. But... Anyway, that is it. We'll quickly just go ahead and jump into the combo. Okay, guys, so here is the combo. It's just Ogier and Renaud, and you should be playing three Ogier. You should be playing three Renaud. And of course, if you also count Heritage of the Chalice at three and Reinforcements of the Army, you actually, like, this is why you, you start to see you have a 53.7% chance of always opening either Ogier and Chalice, or Ogier and, Ogier and Chalice, Renaud and Chalice, or Ogier and Renaud. So then we will just go ahead and go here. Like I said, this line loses, uses Lancelin to be able to allow us to put up a gear free before our fifth summon and before we commit to his older Angelica, which protects us from plethoras of hand traps. So we're gonna start out our turn by normal summoning out the Ogier. Ogier's effect is gonna go ahead and send us the gear free. Then from there, we're gonna go and special summon out the Renaud, adding back gear free. Then we're gonna synchro summon into our ignoble knight of High Lancelin. This is our third summon. Uh, Lancelin has a very cool effect that it just allows us to equip and equip a uh, Noble Arms card from our deck to it. And this is what allows us to play under Droll. For those who don't know, the Infra Noble Arms have insane um, second effects that sometimes never came up when we used to play, but now we get to utilize the second effects of the Infra Noble Arms quite a bit. So if you end up getting hit with Droll, you use Lancelin to go ahead and grab yourself back the Joyous to grab your the Alamus. And then you can end up linking it off if you have different extenders, etc., through a draw. But right now we're just showcasing you what this combo does and how it gets you to the anti gear free or the anti hand trap using the gear free. I don't know why I always do that. I always want to say anti hand trap, but I also mean like the gear free line. So I always say anti gear freed, which is, that's not what it is. But anyway, uh, Deer and Doll's effect, you will destroy it to go ahead and grab your, grab us the Turpin. Now this is where we go ahead and fire off the gear free by banishing the Deer and Doll. We go ahead and special summon out Gearfried, and of course we use Ogier's effect to equip the Gearfried. So right now Gearfried is in the gate is live, and this is our fourth summon. We go ahead and activate Turpin, since we control a monster that's equipped, we get to special it out. And then we get to go ahead and link summon into Isolde. Now for those, remember guys, uh, Turpin will only banish itself if it is summoned from the graveyard using that effect. If it's summoned from the hand, it goes right to the graveyard. Isolde's effect, you go ahead and add yourself your Fire Warrior of choice. Uh, since I'm no longer playing Renaud, or not Renaud, Roland, uh, I like to go ahead and grab uh, the red layer so I don't draw it. And then we'll go ahead and use her effect to go ahead and pay the cost, sending one to go ahead and summon out the Ricardetto. Ricardetto will bring out the Turpin. Go ahead and we Synchro Summon here into the Queen Angelica. On Summon allows us to add a monster, or allows us to add a card that lists Emperor Charles' name in its text, or Horn of Oliphant. Uh, of course, if you guys don't know, the char the, the card of our choice is going to be Museum. We will go ahead and activate the Museum using its effect to pay 12 to grab us Almus. Almus is a fantastic recursion card for us. Now, right here, guys, we will go ahead and activate the Phoenix Blade, banishing the Ignoble Knight of High Lancelin and the Renaud to go ahead and add it back to our hand. We'll then go ahead and attempt to equip it to Angelica. 
We get to Chain Angelica's effect to go ahead and dump uh, and then banish itself. Now you can send a plethora of cards. However, we'll go ahead and send Oliver. This will then banish itself and then this will go to Grave. Summoning from the extra deck or maybe if you, maybe if you like to roll that way, you summon from the main deck of Roland. I don't know. Uh, but you go ahead and summon out the Roland. Remember guys, they see us Roland, they hating. And then we're at this point here. We go ahead and activate the Turpin to go ahead and equip itself to the Captain Roland using the Field Spell to special summon the Turpin. We then conduct a Synchro Summon, making Charles the Emperor. Myself. Uh, we will then go ahead and attach the Alamus to Charles, and then we get to link off here into Charles the Great. Chain link one, Charles the Great. Chain link two, Alamus. Alamus is going to add us back the old Oliver that we sent earlier. And then Charles the Great will equip. So I apologize if you guys can hear the train. It's just, it is what it is. So we are at this point right here. Uh, we then can, you can banish these final two cards. You can use Oliver's effect by sending one of these. You can end up just using the red layer in your hand, whatever you want to do. You don't even have to use the Oliver, but I recommend using it just simply because you're going to be able to pick up pretty much anything you want. But we're going to go ahead and use Oliver to go ahead and pitch this right here to special summon it. And then we go ahead and use the Isolde and the Oliver to go ahead and step on up into Rug 10. Now, right here, we are looking at a spell and trap negate. A battle face pop, and of course the good old-fashioned gear free monster negate. We'll go ahead and activate Oliver's effect to attach itself here to the Charles the Great. And then once we do that, we can almost we can get ready to move to the end phase. So we move to the end phase and we summon out Angelica. And then Charles Effect will pick up an equip spell from the graveyard. You can choose Alamus, you can choose Phoenix Blade, whatever you really want to do. I like to choose the Alamus because if we do end up losing the Charles, we can recur ourselves one of the cards we have in our graveyard. We'll go ahead and equip the Almas, and then we'll actually use Charles's effect to end up equipping this. Just you can equip Ogier if you'd like to go ahead and get the full protection uh, from being targeted or destroyed, or if you want to recur more hand advantage or more resource, you can actually equip the Malgus. Uh, since we don't really have a lot of combo sequences or a lot of combo lines using Malgus, we'll just go ahead and use it. So we're going to go ahead and attach the Infernoble Knight Malgus. We will actually use Charles's effect during the end phase to go ahead and pop the Malgus. And now you can return up to three Noble Arms or Fire Warriors that are banished during your graveyard to draw a card. So we'll go ahead and return the Renaud. We'll get this Durandal, the Fire, uh, the Super Quantal that you just added. You then add those back to your deck. It really does not matter what we draw. It'll just be a blank card. We draw. So now you have a total of four cards in your hand, thanks to the draw off of the Malgus. You then have a Spell and Trap Negate that is able, and then you also have Roland for a Quick Effect Pop. And then you have Gear Freed. So technically you're staring down three interruptions, but if you do remember, during the battle phase, Raten gets a pop. So I call him a pseudo disruption. But for the sake of video, we're gonna say you're staring down four disruptions. And that is using Lancelin here to be able to protect your entire combo line by getting access to getting access to Gear Freed, by getting that equip spell early in the grave. So this entire combo was insulated by Gear Freed to protect us from Ash, Ogre, Valor. Ghost Mourner and stuff like that. And then of course this combo continues further if you open like another museum. Maybe you draw into a museum. Maybe during the Angelica you end up sending the Malgus to go ahead and get early shuffle back. Whatever your hand predicts or whatever, you know, you make the decisions. But anyway guys, this is that is it for the Lancelin combo. Uh, like I said, Lancelin is very good. In my opinion, this card allows us to really play under around Droll 2, especially since like Angelica <laughs> can like we the field spell is like really important, so sometimes it's like not worth it. But this card just allows us to like play underneath Droll pretty well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember if you guys did enjoy it to give a comment down below, give me a like, give me a subscribe. And uh, without further ado, the most important part, guys, is stay safe, stay healthy. This is Charles from Team COG, signing out.